let's, let's take a look at this quiz 3-1. What problems did we actually do? Let's do them again. You did what? 23 and 27. 23 and 27. There we go. <laughs> You may want to. Okay. So from page 160, number 23. So we are supposed to graph y equals 4 plus 2x using the x and y intercepts is what the instructions said to do. How do we do that? For the, to find the x-intercept, we do put y0 and then we solve. You did eventually. <laughs> Now what? So the x-intercept is that x equals negative 2. Now what? Now replace the x with 0 to find the intercept. True. Now what? Uh, it does. So we have the y-intercept at y equals 4. Now what? How? What are you saying? Oh yeah, to like write them as a point? Yes, you can write them as a point. What would the point be on this one? On the, on the x-intercept, x would be negative 2 and y would be 0. What about the y-intercept? Great. So how do we graph this line now? Okay, so we go 1, 2 over and we put a dot. Two, three, four. Well, you may have you may have gotten it, but overall, we didn't get it. Now what? Do you connect the plots? We do. We more than connect them. We go through them. Make sense? Any questions? So what happened on the quiz? <laughs> we forgot to put zeros. I overcomplicated the y intercept. Ah. I did it was a negative two comma four. Well you don't even have any lines on your graph, so you did more than just that. <laughs> So y'all go ahead and do 27 real quick and see if you get the right answer. I'll, I'll take a beat and then come back and do it with you and then see if y'all got it, if you got it down. Then we might need to take another quiz, who knows? Homework and everything else? Yes, we do, you're right.
Did you make a mistake? Did you get y equals negative three? Nice. There's an equals in between there, so why would we do that? What's negative zero? Zero. Gone away. So x equals negative three. You can't, you can't like start smooshing stuff across an equals. An equals is a barrier that needs a bounce to get across it, yeah? You gotta either add or subtract to get across it. No, it should not be down. Y equals three. X equals negative three. Does that make sense? Good. All right. What was today's lesson? Three, three. No, three, four, right? Direct variation, which is what you just mumbled. I, I understand now. I got it. Not you, that one. The other, other corner mumbler. All right, what numbers did we do? 24 through 32. 24 is, it's not jinx, I said it after you. Oh, to a Josiah, I see. Don't jinx the mumblers, they'll never be able to speak again. <laughs> Numbers 24 is y equals 3 fifths x and 30. <clears throat> 26 is y equals 5 and 2 thirds x, which you could definitely write as 17 thirds x and 25 halves. 28A is 5 iron. 28B, B, however you solve the problem, you get the, something with the equation D equals 1.05S. And then you'd plug in the 7,000, you'd describe it words, and you'd get, also get S equal, and you'd S, S equals 180.9. So therefore, he needed five irons. We'd explain all the process to get there. <coughs> 30 is y equals 2x and 38. 32 is y equals 1.8x and 21.6. So as far as we went, or did we go through 36? No, it was Okay, great. What questions do you have? We can do 24. You did know what to do or you didn't watch the video good. Well, then you should have known what to do, right? But you, and you thought you were doing it right, but apparently you weren't. Is that, is that actually what happened? Oops. This is page. 186, number 24. If y equals 6 when x equals 10, find x when y equals 18. What do we do? Okay, what is the formula thing? Y equals kx. True enough. Now what? What am I going to put where? Y 
Now what? So k equals what? It's not the wrong one. We're just going to leave it as a fraction. Three fifths. Now what? Um, Garrett, get your calculator. I mean Garrett. <laughs> Gavin, the not sick one. Get your calculator out. Push three divided by five. Enter. And what happens? Yeah. Same problem. You did it right. You got 0 0.6, right? Yeah. What does 3 fifths equal? Oh, yeah. There we go. I knew we were there. Okay, now what? Yes, and we need to write the equation, right? Because it asks for the equation. So this, circle it. Then what? Yeah, so which, which one are we going to substitute? Okay, put an 18 right there equals 3 fifths x. Now what? Divide 3 fifths off. How do we divide fractions? Multiply by reciprocal. That can pre-reduce by 3, 1, and 6. So x equals 30. Makes sense? If I gave you a quiz and did this problem, would you get it right? That's what, the, I'm, that's what I mean by does it make sense, just for clarity. Yes, sir? So, for the first um, thing that we got? For the first thing that we got. Um, when we wrote, for some reason, I wrote down for the answer, just k equals 3.5. I did that. So is this a quest a question or it's, it's we both got it right. right. No, it's not right if you did that. Can we, do we can do twenty six. Twenty six. So y equals 4 and 1 fourth when x equals 3 fourths. We want to find y when x equals 4 and a half. Okay, now what? Okay. Why is it 17 fourths? You tell me. It's d easier. Okay. Because this I can do in my head. If I did it the other way, I'm going to have to like probably pull a calculator out okay. or something silly. Okay. It's just four and a fourth written improper. Okay. Now what? Divide, which is multiply by the reciprocal. Yep, everything you just sort of said is correct. Well, you kind of started to. <laughs> You're saying divide it off. You said that part. Dividing fractions is multiplying by the reciprocal, right? Right? So k equals 17 thirds. Now what? No, put it, put that in. Oh, 
Rewrite the fraction. Equation. <laughs> <laughs> Put the three in there and you're done. What are you saying? Yeah, 17. And it's, I'm not going to understand what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, but we pre-reduced. One times 17 is 17, and three times one is three. Okay, good. So, y equals 17 thirds times nine halves. Pre-reduce again. And y equals 30 plus 24, 54, no, that would mean I didn't do something right. <laughs> Three times 17 is 30 plus, oh, 21, so not 20. Right, yes, yes, because I, yes, 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 51. Because you add them together and then, yeah, I was, Distracting myself because I was getting confused, just thinking it was going to roost. Yes, 51 halves. 30 plus 21 is 51, is what I was trying to say. And then didn't. What other questions do we have on this homework set? Um, probably 30. 32. Hey. Yes. Leave your phone here. Good. Thirty two. So y equals four point five when x equals 2.5, so we want to find y when x equals 12. Yes. So 4.5 equals k times 2.5, divide the 2.5, and we get what? 1.5. It'd be 9 fifths, whatever that is. 1.8, same as she got, so we're going to go with what y'all just said. Y equals 1.8X, 12. Nope, wrong, go back. This is 12, right? <laughs> so what's 1.8 times 12? 9.6 plus, yeah. Twenty one point six. Twenty one point six. Yeah. Okay. What other questions do we have? Twenty-eight. What? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. I hope you're not just looking at words and being like, yeah, no. I hope we're actually trying them. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. A golf ball. That can travel 200 yards at sea level, would travel 210 yards at an altitude <coughs> of 7,000 feet because of the reduced air resistance. The table shows the typical distance George hits, or possibly Jorge, we don't know, hits each golf club at sea level. Great. 
If Jorge is playing a course at 7,000 feet above sea level, and he is 190 yards from the center of the green, what club should he choose? Great. So what now? We should certainly use some sort of formula. It does seem like a good idea. Certainly would, certainly would be a formula we could use. We could also set up a proportion of some sort. We could, we could also do it that way, which is another way to solve these. We're solving 28. So, Seven thousand feet above sea level. He does one hundred and ninety yards. So one hundred and ninety yards. This is sea level, and this is seven thousand feet. Right at sea level. If he was at one hundred and ninety yards. Actually, is that is the chart sea the chart sea level, right? Yeah, sea level at 190 yards. Which club does he use? Uh, That's what I thought. I thought iron. I thought iron, but I understand how to do it now because it added, it added 10 yards. It is not a zero. Yeah. Golf ball traveling 200 yards at sea level, travel 210. So actually, we're, we're not really even doing this. Probably wouldn't even do, it would be better to not do the proportion this way. It'd probably be better to do it up and down. I... 200 to 210. Right? This is, the 200 is sea level, yeah? What are you, what are you thinking, Gemma? One ninety equals K times. Oh, do it not so not a proportional relationship, but a. See, I think I'm thinking too simple because like I don't think that actually works. You know, kinda. Yeah, it's like one ninety equals one ninety times one. So, okay. If we do y equals k times x. What is the constant? We need to figure out what the constant of proportionality is, right? So we need to do 200 equals k times 210. Now what? Divide the 210. Sorry, I'm trying to think about doing this in two different ways. Let's stick to the, let's stick to the way we're learning in this lesson. So what's the constant of proportionality in this situation? Nine five two eight three zero, or possibly twenty twenty one, right? Which one? The 
why in this, the way we set it up, why is which, which is it the sea level or is it the 7,000 feet? Which one is the 200? Because that's where we put the 200 in. Sea level. Sea level. Which means X is at the 7,000 feet. Right? But then we've got another, we've got another one over there too. What do we get? What is, well, this is, this is about, this is, no, it's not. It's not way too complicated. This, what was this fraction? 1.05? It was 0. Oh, I, 0. oh, if we did it the other way around, it would be. Right. Right. If we did it, if we did it, if we set this one as the Y and this one as the, if we switch the X and the Y, it would be that. Right? If we do two, t why are you touching her calculator? Just let's focus, dude. Let's focus. If we, if, we let, if we let these be the other way around, I bet it's the 1.05 that they get in their explanation, right? Is that, is that right? Yeah, probably. We'll try it. 210 or 21 divided by 20. Uh, 1.05. Yeah, yeah. So that's, so if they do it, if you set it up that way, now you could do it either way. We could do it the way they did it or the way we did it. But setting it up with this being X and this being Y, that's great. Okay, easy money so far? Yes. Okay, so 109, so we can do 190 yards and he's at 7,000 feet. So we need to figure out what that would be in the other. We need to also figure out what club, like the relationship between the club and the distance, right? So if we have the distance equals K times the club. We can figure out how this formula over here works, right? What would we plug in for the distance in the club from the table? Distance is to K. Is what? Distance is to K. There's no 210 in the table anywhere. Sure, 180 is fine. If we do 180 for the distance, what's the club? Five. So how do we figure this part out? Divide by five. So the constant of proportionality for this relationship, the clubs and the distance, is what? Doesn't make any sense. Thirty-six. So the distance equals thirty-six times the club at that place, right? Oh. We don't even need any of that. That's true <laughs> for the, what's, this is sea level. This is true for the sea level, right? So our, which one was which? Sea level, sea level equals 20, 20 once times the 7,000. And we're get, we know he's at, he can do 190 yards at 7,000. So 20, 20 once times the, what, what did I just say, 190? Is that right? That we're doing an A? Yes. So that would match what in C level? What are you going to do now? It's on that side, so we just multiply, yeah. 
hasn't moved. So 2021 times 190 is what? I don't know either. Punch buttons. Mm, I don't think you did. Punch the right buttons, bro. Um, Punch your K buttons. Zero zero. <clears throat> no, that can't be right. Um, I think I got the right answer. I'm thinking about it. Oh, I just. Uh, 180.95. 180.95. From part A. Oh. 20 yeah. over 21 times 190 is yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. Is that right? What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then we go to our table and see where we match to get. So between, between the 180 and the 190, is the best thing is the 5 iron, right? Yes. So that's where that comes from. So the 5 iron, because we got that. Now, if it's exactly matched, so we're... This at sea level will be just a little over that, so he, he may need to take a little bit less swing, right? Or, some, or something along those lines, right? Perfect. But the five iron. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> you, you gave up a long time ago, which is useless to you. Stop, take a breath. Guys, you can't do that. Math is going to get harder. Stop it. Don't zone out on the word problems. Stop and send up a flare and ask what's going on. <laughs> when you get it confused, if you break it a long time ago and your brain oozes out your ears, you learned nothing and then I wasted my time. Well, maybe it didn't for the people that are strapping in. We figured out the constant proportionality between the 7,000 feet one and the sea level one. And then we just plugged 190 in there to see, and see what's going on. Then we use a table to match it. We didn't need all this work. It's true, but we don't care. We didn't need all this work. This was not, none of this, none of this was necessary. It's true, that's the constant of proportionality between the club and the distance at sea level. We built this table, we figured out what, basically we figured out what the slope of that line is, which is great, it has a 36 slope, but we didn't care, that didn't help. We just figured out the, how, what the proportional relationship between the sea level and 7,000 feet, and then we just plugged in the sea level and pushed enter, right? Right. Okay. Okay. And you put something like the words that just came out of my mouth for like parts B and C. Yeah, <laughs> Good. What other questions for this lesson? Stay a quiz. Okay. Okay. Stop it, Joe. Don't cry. I don't want those. What? This is quiz three, four. Yes. You're three, two. <laughs> oh, tired. Page 185. Numbers 7 and 8. 